Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Purutaman. I believe that the videos we shared have been informative in expanding your understanding of Parkinson's disease. Today I will discuss leg exercise for Parkinson patient. So let's start the video. If you or someone you know has Parkinson's disease and struggling with the balance and walking, then in that case you might be wondering how to exercise while sitting in a chair to build up leg strength. I must say having strong legs can make a big difference in your ability to walk properly and reduce tremors. On the other hand, weak legs can make you dependent on your family for help with everyday tasks. So it's really important to maintain your leg strength. So let's begin with the exercise. The first one is seated knee lift. In this exercise, you have to sit upright in your usual chair. Simply start by lifting your right knee up towards your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And alternating to the left. One, two, three, four. You can do it ten times daily. By performing this exercise, you may experience some discomfort in, but it is normal. This exercise can enhance your muscular endurance, balance and coordination in the muscles. Now next and the second exercise is leg extension exercise. Again sit in the straight upright position. Slowly strengthen your legs until your knees are fully extended. One, two, hold the end position for a second. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Repeat as needed or ten times in a day. Coming to the third exercise, which is the sitting calf raise exercise. Sit in a straight position, slowly raise your heel and pause for a second and then lower down. One, two, three. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Alright, now it's time for your final exercise which is a side leg extension exercise. For this one, we are going to spread our right leg out as wide as we can and keep your back straight. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Same we will do for the left exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, and 10. Most important note, this exercise is great for patients who may be too afraid to walk. For those who are able to walk, it may not be as helpful because stenting requires the entire back to work for balance. However, if balance is an issue, this exercise can be performed comfortably while sitting. At last, I would like to say, in Parkinson's disease, the speed of exercise does not matter. You can do it slowly, but with strength. Speed is not useful for us, so don't worry about it. Instead of this, focus on how long you can do the exercise and how much stability you can achieve. This helps your brain gain proper control over the muscles and improve your ability to walk properly. So pay attention to the stability you achieve during the exercise rather than the speed. I hope you learned a lot from this video about exercising for Parkinson patients. If you still have any doubt or question, our team of doctors is available to help. Thanks for watching and I will be seeing you in the next video.